Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today's entertainment is provided by DC Gaming of the Argon Fleet. And DC Gaming is in the Kiev, the Tier 9 Soviet destroyer. Now if you know anything about Soviet destroyers, you know that um, they have very good guns, they're very quick, but the torpedoes usually are more like really short range and um, you don't usually get, you don't always get the, the, the chance to use them all that much. But um, we'll, we'll see what he gets up to in this game. He's in top tier. There's a, there's a, three battleships on the enemy team, an Iowa, a Bismarck, and an, and an NC. A Rune, which is kind of really the only ship he has to watch out a little bit for. And the Fletcher, Kagero, and the Z. So let's start this. And let's see what DC Gaming makes of this. They're playing on Aurora. And he spawns in pretty much the middle. It's Domination, so... You gotta go for the cups, and he's in a very very fast destroyer. So he he can he switches over to the armor piercing because obviously there are three destroyers on the enemy team, and uh, if he gets if he gets to see these, then uh, that's the right sort right ammunition choice. Uh, he pops the engine boost, which is the right thing to do again. Goes all the way and speeds towards a cup. Now he's got the bun the guns pointed left. So I was initially thinking that um, he's kind of trying to stay in A and defend A. But uh, by the looks of it, the destroyer on the other side is taking its sweet time to get over to C. Or maybe AFK, we don't know. So he kind of looks around, and sees what's happening, uh, sees that he's got a battleship as a backup. And decides, nope, screw that, I'm turning, I'm going to go for a B cup as well. Because nobody, none of the three enemy destroyers so far has capped anything. And there's the rune, so that was a very wise decision. He holds his fire as to not get spotted, because he's currently broadsiding the rune. <laughs> and the rune has some very nasty guns. Okay, now we know where the other DDs are. They are in B and C, so now he's spotted. And um, there is, there's the Fletcher. So he starts opening up, uh, pops the reload booster and starts unlo unloading into the Fletcher. Now the Fletcher probably has torpedoes away. So he's kind of um, just, you know, turning out, dodging a little bit. But uh, it doesn't look like any of the battleships are shooting at him. And um, the Iowa is currently busy trying to push through the Bismarck. <laughs> uh, this tells us something. These people are so completely focused into their respective targets, they're not actually zooming out. They're just literally tunnel visioning. So he's like, okay. I'm gonna get into torpedo range. <laughs> There's so many battleships there, it's gonna be pretty hard to actually not hit them. Uh, the Bismarck's auto secondary is opening up on him. And he switched back to the armor piercing, fires at the bow of the Bismarck where he can penetrate, and the Bismarck is getting all the torpedoes. And the Fletcher is kind of trying to get through that quagmire of battleships there, and uh, makes it because he's, he seems to be the only one who's firing at DC Gaming here. And uh, sets him on fire, he doesn't damage con that, but um, the Fletchers probably get torpedoes away. Uh, but he's dead now. <laughs> and uh, okay, what does it look like? They're 100 points behind, they've lost the battleship, they're not holding any caps uh, at the mo any cap at the moment, and everybody there is concentrating on A. But again, he's healing, no one's shooting at him. Switches back to the high explosive and sees if he can set the Bismarck on fire. The Bismarck is a German battleship, and the Bismarck isn't even looking at him. What is the Bismarck looking like? Looking at? It seems that he's in a duel with the battleships over there and the AFK destroyer on the other side. Well, okay. <laughs> Again, the auto secondaries are, um, are opening up, but that's the only signal we're getting that the Bismarck has even realized that he's here. So he decides, okay, my torpedoes are probably reloaded by now. Um, and oh, then uh, the North Carolina has, has seen that he's there, so he's firing some armor piercing at him. He actually passes in front of the Bismarck, which is going to cost him some health. It would have been easier to pass on the other side because the Bismarck wasn't even looking at him. But the Bismarck's dead, <laughs> and he isn't. <laughs> and the Iowa has pushed forward together with the other destroyer. So it's time to get B Cup back. In the meantime, uh, uh, DC Gaming here has killed two ships. We're, we're halfway through the battle. He's at 75,000 damage. And uh, the team has not done much other than lose two ships of their own. So. Uh, that Iowa is probably gonna loot, gonna eat a lot of these torpedoes, so he's just kind of um, yeah yeah he he the team can deal with that one. It looks like the, the Fletcher there has woken up finally. Welcome to the battle. <laughs> and it's a bit of a theme these days. 
and uh, he just, you know, turns towards the other cup because the enemy destroyers seem to be not interested in any way whatsoever to deal with the cup circles. There's the big caliber. <laughs> Can you get the kill on the Iowa? Nah, it's almost dead anyway. Uh, better targets over there. The Mogami is torping the North Carolina, but he seems to have lost a lot of health. He's also extremely close to the North Carolina, which is not something you want to really do in a Mogami, and he's dead. <laughs> because, uh, why? well, <laughs> reasons. So, DC Gaming here captures C Cup. Meanwhile, somebody caps, caps A again. Okay, so there's at least two destroyers still around, so it's gonna be one of those. Now, he's rushing the North Carolina head on. North Carolina uh, is probably still having armor piercing on reload. That's the secondaries firing at him. He's in torpedo range, but he doesn't turn yet because he would give broadside to the North Carolina, and you don't want to do that. It just sets him on fire. North Carolina starts turning because he thought that he dropped torpedoes. So he's concentrating on turning and, well, <laughs> nice, well done. This is how you this is how you um, you deceive an enemy ship. It's what he wants to do, really. I mean, he has to watch out a little bit with the secondaries of that North Carolina, but what he wants to do, really, is get on the other side of that ship because then the gun turrets are all pointing in the wrong direction. And even if he had the high explosive loaded, he can't go and shoot him in the face. So um, the North Carolina turns, but uh, he's this close at this point that he switches back to the armor piercing. And uh, at this at this rate, he, he can just drop the torpedoes into him. Now, he hasn't damage control to fire because, well, the North Carolina might have set him to fire again multiple times with the secondary. So has, that has cost him quite a bit of health, though. And uh, they're still behind on points, despite all his efforts. <laughs> and they've lost another ship. Uh, but uh, the, the Lenin has taken out the rune that sunk him in, in return, so... It's down to... and the Fletcher has killed something as well. Okay, now it's down to just one, destro uh, one destroyer. So, um, big, big effort, big hero effort here. Switches back to the armor piercing. Has, has the armor piercing loaded because, well, there's just one destroyer to shoot at. Uh, big effort here for, for DC Gaming to actually keep the caps under control. Otherwise, they would have lost this on points and that destroyer would have just had to run away. But now, we know where he is. He's over an A cup. And um, DC Gaming still has enough health and is a very, in a very fast ship. So this should be a walk in the park now. Now he's spotted because obviously that's... Uh, okay, that's a Kagero. So he's extremely... Um, he's extremely uh, sneaky. Now DC Gaming here does something that... Uh, he's trying to torp the Kag Kagero while not, re while not actually reversing. And then he realizes that he's running straight into the Kagero's torpedo. So he eats two of those. Survives by a miracle on 300 health. But now the Kagero just has to fire his guns once and he's dead and he's dodged all his torpedoes he could have literally just stayed a little bit away or, or put them in reverse a couple of seconds earlier because cargo wasn't shooting at him well he's now <laughs> but the cargo kills him but it's okay it's all good because that fletcher there is still coming in and fletcher can kill the cargo and even if he doesn't they're still ahead on points Hundred twenty-eight thousand points of damage and if he hadn't potatoed that cargo <laughs> at the end he could have just gunned him down easily and gotten himself another kill Holy hell in a handbasket. <laughs> this, my friends, is why, even if it's a Soviet destroyer, you don't just ignore it. Yes, it has crappy torpedoes, but it reloads them reasonably quickly <laughs> and it actually can do a very significant amount of damage to you if you ignore it. Uh, extremely well done, DC Gaming. Good job there, uh, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for sending that one in. Links, link to the originals in the description. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.